Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, a space simulator, well, a space colony simulator, coming from those lovely people at Clay Games. My name is Twitchy, and our colony, the Leaky Paradise, seems to actually be doing okay. We have a fair amount of water on the go. We're now getting our contaminated water put popped down into here. You can see everything flows from the toilets or shower into this holding tank here. Though I have just found out, in fact we can see this here, you see that there is cracking tiles happening. This is because of the water pressure. So I'm a little bit worried that maybe at some point this is going to rupture through and break into that. So I think to fix that what I'm going to do is run down some tiles here. Yeah, something like that. And at some point that will get uh, bolstered up and made a little bit stronger. You can see over here we have a little bit of chlorine coming through. And there are ways to deal with this. I'm just seeing if the creature that I'm looking for is actually present on my map. There's a tiny creature called a Morb. Uh, and now normally he turns up when one of your duplicates have died. Uh, and as I haven't got a dead duplicate, I'm not sure if it's going to be around. But sometimes they just spawn in the caves anyway. They consume chlorine and produce contaminated oxygen which seems like a great idea to me if we could get one of those morbs down here somewhere or perhaps uh, like keep it in here and then it can um, process this chlorine maybe we also need ourselves a little well this is outside of base so we don't we don't need to deal with the carbon dioxide there it just would be nice so what are we going to do today well today I think we need to start working on a new bit of research you can see over here we've done quite a lot of stuff and we're just about to get our gas piping through but once that has come through I think what we actually want to aim for then is this filtration stuff that uh, definitely this pre Pre, uh, percolation, sorry, okay, I kept on going pre, but no, it wasn't, it was a per, uh, and as soon as we, yeah, I think percolation is definitely the one, we can purify our water, we can then split said water into oxygen and hydrogen, it doesn't mention that in this electrolyzer, but it does, uh, and this bio distiller, the bio distiller is actually probably the thing we are most after, as this converts slime into algae, but not just that, it produces um, water for us to deal with, I have hit some buttons, so I'm going to right click and make all that go away. So, I suppose we're just waiting for a few things to happen. You can see these guys are, are digging out this algae here. I'm not sure if I've put this on a high priority. I have not. There are things with high priority. They've just decided they're not going to work towards it. We're grabbing more bleach stone for more... Um, sanitation stuff but they're saying we have a food shortage now the food shortage is coming probably because uh well these things are not ready let's go for a harvest put that up at a high level we have some problems here overheating now i'm not sure how we deal with temperature modulation there we go look at this thermoregulator cools gas pipe through it but outputs heat not quite what we're looking for and hydrofan disperses a small amount of heat now that that sounds like something we want, the hydrofan. We could put it in here. Sounds like it might use up water, which might not be the thing we want. But the research that we've been waiting for has just finished. Gas bridge, uh, gas pipe bridge, sorry, gas pipe. Gas permeable tile, definitely the thing that I'm after there and all these other things. So let's have a look at our gas overlay here and let's think where are we building up uh, carbon dioxide where we don't want it. This, this is a place where we're building up carbon dioxide and we don't want it. So let's have a look pop one of these in here and then maybe we can pop that there and it will flow down through to this oxygenation area here so if I upgrade those I think I might actually like to then wipe this out and maybe move it down here and have this as our oxygen uh, correctional area maybe something like that if I put a tile there it should catch most of the carbon dioxide as well we've got a little bit there this all needs to be destroyed well not destroyed but deconstructed this pipe pump and these pipes here everything else can kind of stay but this is going to be a different type of room we can see that we have a new duplicate available not going to grab them right now because trying to keep enough oxygen and food going for seven people is a little awkward uh is, do we still have the food shortage is, is this something that's still going on let's have a look we've only got 3,000 calories so what i'm going to do is turn my microbe musher back on uh, and hopefully someone will get to work on that i didn't tell it just to fabricate it away um, there we go. Uh, it's, it's a little annoying that you have to do a two-click process to make everything carry on turning over, but I assume later on in the game that's going to make, uh, make later on in development, sorry, that's going to make a lot more sense. Um, okay, yeah, I think I'll bring you back once this carbon dioxide run has gone through, and once we've got the mm, percolation. 
Okay, so I've just started to receive uh, insufficient resources for all our algae buildings. That's fine. We can go around and put a higher priority on this particular section here. This will grab us a whole load of algae. Perhaps we want to not dig up these um, oxalites. Or if we do, we want to put them down somewhere. I'm not sure what we can do with them. In fact, I'm not even sure if we can put them back down. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to scrub them out like that. Anything else we need to be aware of? Got some granite, some igneous rock. It appears to be mainly slime over this way. But with this now being... Hmm... I'm going to put in some tiles here. Let's try and close off the area. Oh, look, we've got a whole load of algae just over here as well. I'm going to run this ladder up like this, yeah. Well, kind of like that. I didn't quite mean to do it that far. And also prioritise these tiles here so these can get all fixed. That would be great. Then we would have a nice contained unit. Is there anywhere else? Yeah, we've got lots of other places that seem to be exposed to the outside world, but we can definitely change that. I'm a little worried about what's going to happen when we go through there because we've got some chlorine there. But it should hopefully just dig down this way or at least slop down that way. We could probably do with another scientist at some point. Mad Frank here is putting a valiant effort into making everything tick over nicely, but it's just not working so well. Captain Subs is saying he has himself a bit of a stress issue, so let's put him onto this massage table here. Can we fit another one in? That that would be useful. We can't. That's unfortunate. Uh, I think we also need to start thinking... Oh, no, we have the storage area here. That must have been my casual game that I was thinking of. Lol... So all the algae is being moved from over here to these boxes up here, which is quite nice. It's good to have them in a nice centralised location. Definitely still wait. Mad Frank, what are you doing? What are you... Oh, you're cleaning your hands. It must be time for work. So I've... one thing that I noticed that really only gets mentioned in here, uh, duplicates will only use the hand san sanitizer before eating a meal, which makes me think maybe here would be the better place for it. Or maybe like take out this ladder system here, connect these ones up and then put the hand sanitizer there. I mean, we only need the one, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely hold that on as an idea. The water is getting used lovely in our sanitation area here. I'm not sure where else we need the water to be pumped to. Uh, actually, it all seems to be working pretty fine. This air deodorizer definitely doing its job, but could probably be moved a little bit further back this way, as I wish to put the... Um, purification unit there. I'm not sure if these guys can walk past a purification unit to uh, get out over this way, but it's just where the pipes happen to be. Maybe I could actually fit it in there. We got the plumbing has been opened up. That's nice. Obviously, we need the gas. Uh, well, sorry, we were given the gas options. Uh, if we have a look here, where is gas being made and where is it? Oh, look at all this oxygen just comes bursting out there. Um, yeah, so all my carbon dioxide seems to be collecting back here. Perhaps we'd like to put a gas permeable tile sort of here. I think that would be useful. That will let all this carbon dioxide to go over this way. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but carbon dioxide tends to go sort of down and to the right. Uh, I used to think it was just down, but looking around, it, it definitely appears to be more right-based than anything else. So if we pop this through here, it should then start just spilling through. Through. Come on. Oh, Zach. Zach, I just needed you to finish that job, man. Just needed you to finish that job. Let's have a look at the priority of our food here. A six is okay. It's not quite going as well as I would have liked. Perhaps we can get some more planter boxes down at some point. Obviously, all this plumbing is a little bit in the way. Okay, morning is rolled around. Suddenly, Captain Subs isn't the guy we want to worry about anymore on the massage bench. It is indeed a forest. So that we just I've just got to keep an eye on who is the top top stressed person and keep swapping them out uh, for there. Now for for the massage bout bench. Now we're still waiting on the electrolyzer. We're still actually waiting on a lot of things. That's that wasn't what I wanted to press here. You can see we've done all the novice research, just waiting on this high level science. Are we waiting for anything here? Doesn't look like we are. There we go. Mad Frank is underway, hopefully creating all the science we could ever need. Let's have a look at our priorities here. They're on an eight. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So I've noticed where these guys are hanging out, we're producing a lot of carbon dioxide. So I've asked them to put some gas permeable tiles in. Obviously, we're getting a similar sort of issue up here. The algae terrarium could probably do with moving now that we've put it in, put these gas permeable tiles in place. The same, same with this one. In fact, I might go ahead and go straight to the deconstruct. Let's get rid of all of that. Get rid of also this oak. Well, press, press too many buttons and things go wrong. Also going to get rid of all this stuff here so we can put more tiles in there. 
there. That, that would be nice. Let's see what happens with all of this. We've got people running around delivering stuff. Oh, no. Atherton didn't get a good sleep. Atheron, sorry. I keep putting an extra T in there where it's totally not necessary. Uh, but, you know, that's how I roll. Uh, I wish there was a way to um, select the sweep for a specific item. Like, I only want to pick up the algae off the floor, not all the other bits as well. So, yeah, that would that would be nice. Unfortunately, that doesn't appear to be a way of doing so. So that is a little unfortunate. I think it might be time that we start digging in great direction soon as well. I'm going to pick up all of these... Um, plants in here. Yep, totally on the ball and knowing what I'm saying. And also grab this algae so that I can then continue the ladder all the way down. Oh, look at that patch of chlorine there. Perhaps we want to go around that. Just, just feels good to go around things like that. I'm not sure what you guys think, but it does for me. It does for me. Let's... Oh, no. Ah. Let's just drag things all over the place. Who needs to have things looking good? That That's what I ask. Who needs things to look good? There are all sorts of things in, in this little pocket over here as well that we need to go and explore. Thankfully, people are going around and doing some upgrades. We will have a completely contained area uh, at some point very shortly. I think I also want to get rid of that d pneumatic door there and put in a manual airlock if we can. Manual airlock. There we go. Just because this is the sanitation area and it, it doesn't look good like that. Uh, maybe we need to put an air odorizer. Actually, maybe we wanted to have put that here. Oh, well, uh, I will actually put that there and we can let gas escape a, a slow pace through this way. I think that would be fine. I think that would be fine. Gas gas is being made here. It keeps getting to the top pressure, so that's that's all good. I'm okay with that. And this is all working off fine. All right, I'll bring you back, as I say, when the research has been done. Okay, research complete. Let's start using some of the oh, excuse me, some of these brand new items. The water purifier is definitely a thing that needs to go in somewhere. I'm going to pop it there. I know this now means that. In fact, let's let's break these, and then as soon as those are broken, we can put the water purifier in. I also want to put these guys in here. Uh, obviously, this is not going to work quite as expected. So let's put a new little trough in like this. Yeah, I think that's going to work well. Now that I've started doing this, I realised that I wanted to have left that pump there. But I'm sure there's a way we can work around that. Uh, also going to dig this up and turn everything that we've just done up to super high priority. Just so we can get all those... Uh, ticking over pretty quickly. Hopefully these guys can come down and underneath here and make this work. Little worried about the structural integrity of these walls, but that, that'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. And we're delivering igneous rock. This is a bad. Uh, let's first deconstruct that. Cancel all these, because I see what I've done wrong here. Um, so we go to tile, we go sandstone. I would like these that built out of sandstone, please. So let's start like that. Once that is broken, we should be able to start getting other people in to do some other jobs around. Yeah, that, that'll work. That will work. Uh, let these people go through and do their jobs from this side as well. Mad Frank, you shouldn't... Ah, I was about to say you should be going off and doing some science, but of course there's no science to be done. Let's think about that while they're all sleeping. What science are we going to do? Now, we were saying we needed some temperature modulation so we can get this area being more... Uh, air conditioned. We do still do have a food shortage. That is something we need to work on. We have the microbe muncher making these mush bars. It's a little water intensive from what I hear though. So we're just going to have to let that play through I think. Misaligned is currently our most stressed. Not anymore. Misaligned is down to 8%. So let's change that up to Atherun. Uh, we need to actually make ourselves a nice little relaxation lounge. Perhaps that's what we can do here. If we knock down this algae deodorizer, maybe move it up to the top there. In fact, I'm going to do this. It's not a deodorizer. It's a deoxygenator. I do apologize for the bad use of language here. I'm going to break that and put down... Uh, two massage tables. We're going to put one on this side and one on that side. And then we've got all this room in the middle for various bits of decor, which, you know, I feel would be a good idea. Let's put that there, that there. Uh, can we put some blank canvas in? We can. There we go. That that looks good for me. And we could have even maybe kept the oxygenator thingy in there. Are we getting an insufficient oxygen warning? We are. Okay, so let's... Yeah, let's do that. 
Let's do that. I'm going to turn everything up to priority nine here just to make sure it all gets done nice and quick. Uh, this is also working out pretty well down here. It's a tile nine sandstone. Let's put two in there just so they doesn't end up blocking themselves in again. Uh, it's something that can happen quite easily. Mad Frank, off you go. What are you doing? You're picking up algae. Okay, I suppose that is an important thing to be done. Same with a forest there. I would like you to come and finish these tiles though so I can uh, start thinking about the next thing we want to do. Do. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna do all those. Let's let's see what happens if I do that. Is anyone gonna just fix this bit now? That that would be great if you could just do this little area, ideally without killing each other. That that would be the ideal scenario here. Um, there and there. Uh, can can we ask them to do three in a row, or will they kill themselves? One. To, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm going to put in these across here. We can get a ladder down once the deconstruction has happened. But we are going to do these bio distillers. We're going to put one here. Uh, looks like we can only get two in this space. That's fine. We'll start work on two and see what happens. Uh, see if we get a good amount of stuff coming out. We've got, like stuff being everything we need algae slime uh contaminated oxygen which we can f uh, fix into normal oxygen and of course i hit space by accident <laughs> uh and of course the contaminated water and stuff maybe we did want to keep the pump down there so let's go for the pumping here uh liquid pump right at the bottom yeah this this is actually what i want and then a liquid vent over this side and this should if we deconstruct this, is that a possible to get to? I'm not sure if my guys can get to this. Uh, how are we going to make that possible? Let's go tiles, nine. Is is that a thing? Let's put that like this. I think that might be. I think that might be possible. Let, let's see what these guys do, and then maybe they can dig up these these last bits. Finally, uh, I'm going to make these a seven instead of a nine, so that the floor gets put in first. I, I feel being able to catch the stuff before it falls into the water might be a good... Oh, look! We've got the bio distill done. Okay, so let's slow this down and start thinking about how we're going to hook everything up. We're going to start with electrics, of course. I think that would be a good run. Uh, and then we've got some outputs to deal with. Plumbing, liquid output. There they are. Just like that, I think. That is literally all we need to do, yeah? I think so. If I'm wrong, we will find out relatively quickly. Uh, I want to pump that up, but I don't want to pump it up. Do I want to pump it up there? I mean, we could fit another... Uh, what, what What's the thing that we're going to do there? Uh, another water purifier in its place. I mean, ideally, we want to hook it up to this line, I think. It's going to take a lot of, lot of uh, liquid pipe, though. That to that to this I think so this out uh, picks up the dirty water outputs to the purifier the purifier then outputs to nice water we kind of just want it to output to the to here don't we uh, so let's cancel that let's do a little bridge I don't see any reason why we can't do a bridge there and then we liquid pipe across to an output here okay that that looks good we're gonna cancel that one to leap uh, make sure everything works out fine. Yeah, I think this works. I think this works. Okay, the water purifier has just gone in. We need to, of course, hook up some electrics, but we can make that super high priority as well. Everyone else is going around trying to hook up this sort of stuff. I would like to put this actually up to a seven, I think. All this line here through here. What I've done is taken the water that gets pumped out of the distillers here, taking it across, down, up, and connected it to just in front of the water purifier. So that should hopefully make all our dirty water into clean water and throw it into this tank here via this liquid vent. This is just a spare vent in case we, I don't know, want to pump out of these waters over here. I'm going to leave it there just because it seems a little convenient. Man, no matter how much algae I, I dig up, we run out again. I'm really looking forward to this being a working piece of equipment. We definitely need to try and hook up these powers a little bit faster. So let's put them up to a nine. Got to, got to make sure they know what's right. You know, what what is the super important. Did that in completely the wrong prior, priority as well. There we go. Now, hopefully everyone will go around and make sure that these are the things that really need to get done. Because let's be honest... 
more algae production is definitely the thing we need to make. Like, lo lots and lots of algae. Now, this is, does mean we're going to need this slime stuff. Uh, that, to me, screams exploration time. So I'm going to start digging out this way. All this stuff is slime. So th this should be nice and easy to dig up here. In fact, I'm going to make a ladder. Uh, we're going to go up and down here. And we'll just dig out some of this slime stuff here more the more time we spend around the more we'll dig out more slime I'm not even gonna bother like upscaling the priority because we will just get to this eventually in fact I might even put another little run in there and then maybe at some point when when they need to be more efficient about their path they will be okay this looks good what are we missing here slime do we actually can uh, have any slime is it a mineral it's not a mineral i'm gonna go through and find out what it is well whatever it is it's not in my list at the moment so obviously we've not picked up any slime that's a little inconvenient because that is the next thing that i really do want to get on with so let's prioritize these not up to a to a nine because we don't want to overwrite everything but i think definitely up to an eight is a acceptable level of priority there we go if we do that that should get everyone moving bit of an oxygen issue down in these lower levels here so it's, it's a bit of a shame because we've actually set this up to not be such a problem I'm gonna do that I'm, I know that algae is a bit of an issue so maybe do maybe setting up algae points isn't the best thing we can do and of course we did actually take this generator away without replacing it properly did I actually put down I didn't hear the noise there we go okay awesome Okay, Mad Frank just picked up a load of slime. Let's slow it down just a little bit here because I want to watch him drop off the slime. There we go. And it all like filters through this bio distiller. Now, hopefully, yep, there goes some gas. We have to worry about the gas. Was it actually chlorine? It doesn't say. It should be emitting, uh, using slime, emitting algae, emitting contaminated water. Okay, so none of these should actually be that bad but it is producing carbon dioxide as well i assume i don't know i'm not i'm not sure why it's not being shown up on the bio distiller here let's have a look at the details we've got a uh, specific heat and thermal conductivity they're not particularly uh, uh that much of a thing to worry about right now uh consuming slime producing bottled water so i just saw it produce a, a kilogram boom drops out as uh like mucky water is there any reason why this there there's the reason why it won't actually be moving on so what i'm gonna do is go deconstruct buildings let's take this down because maybe once we've done this we can actually put in some more solid tiles here once again i'm gonna prioritize up nice and high um ah these tiles are on this side okay well that's a thing that is a thing uh, I, I kind of thought they were on the other side, but that's fine. What's everyone doing? Why, why aren't we... Look at all this chlorine gas. That's that's a bad, isn't it? You just know it's a bad. Um, we've got unbreathable stuff here. Contaminated oxygen. Okay, so to try and fix the contaminated oxygen, I'm going to put an air deodorizer right here. That may or may not deal with that particular problem. Uh, and also these need to be a thing. But what's going on with this? Okay, we've got the tiles in place. Are we not going to get these granite pipes done? We should be able to get both of these. This one is classed as unreachable. So let's break that top one. Uh, and maybe it will class that as reachable then. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Look at the state of this area. I didn't realise it was going to be producing such nasty gases. But we've got lots of algae being produced. And that is kind of the key here. Lots of slime coming through. Perhaps we want to... Uh put ourselves a few tiles across here I, I i can see what they're doing and i don't like it i don't like it at all we're gonna go nine nine uh and eight eight in the middle just so we can get that right and any more slime we want around here no okay that that's a thing that's fine um has this been done it's not been done. Come on, guys. This is all I want to do before we wrap up today's episode. I just want to get this little liquid system into place. But look, we are f cleaning the water and it's dropping down ever so nicely out of here into our nice clean water. Trying to clear this contaminated water out is going to be a bit of an issue. I'm not actually sure how we got there. Okay, so that's not a thing that works. Let's uh, destroy that tile as well. Maybe we'll cause a little bit of a, a leak there. That, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? It's not quite what I'm going for, but I kind of feel like it's what's going to happen you also know i put this little tile um barrier here that's because it with it all extending out along the bottom here it wasn't really pumping the liquid i'm also going to start mopping i think all this is contaminated water let's just get rid of it 
let's just get rid of it. Uh, like, getting rid of water always seems like a bad choice. But, like, we could do other things here. I'm not sure what other things we could do here. Perhaps it's a better place for our biodistillers to live? Maybe we could get a few of them in here. But once all that has been sorted, I will find out the alternative plans. Come on, Miss Alina. I just want you to do this. Dig pending. Oh, uh, it's going to get wet, isn't it? Perhaps I can go tile up a high priority. Uh, they're not going to be able to get through there either, are they? Well, here comes the water. Uh, someone going to fill this in? And at any point, I just I just want that one done. Okay, right now that that's done, uh, nine priority there. Let's cancel that one just in case and see if anybody else is going to come along and plug this hole up for us. Uh, lashing out, forest is lashing out. Oh man, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's put him in this place. Okay, that's cool. I also want to prioritize it. Not quite as high as some of the other things that need doing. Cool. Uh, he's going to go around and break something. What's he going to break? What's he going to break? I can't I can't see what he's going at. Uh, someone stress vomited on the floor as well. That That's bad. That's bad. Are we, are we at this point now where everything is terrible? Um, we, we should be able to go around and ease stress off tomorrow, or next episode anyway. Let's clear everything up nice and high priority, I hope. I hope. I hope. I still can't see what it was Forrest ended up trying to break. Because there was a lashing out on the go. Uh, I, guys, I really would like you to come along and fix this, this hole here. Out of everything, I would like that hole fixed. Um, red alert, guys. Red alert. Let's see what happens at red alert. If, uh, well, first off, people are going to... Uh, br uh, r mop up everything. Yep, language. It's part of my skill set, you know. Um... Everything going well? Like we're at we're at nines, right? Repairing stuff is not is not the nine that I wanted. This this is what I want, guys. If you could, please. Oh, took long enough. Uh, base tile nine put those in afterwards. We're just going to keep filling this up. The thing I'm wondering is whether this water that I'm now pumping into the water purifier gets destroyed because it's not contaminated water. I mean, that would not be great. Okay, let's turn Red Alert off. The, the main thing we were worried about is no longer happening. Aha, look at the dancing water. Uh, so as contaminated water is dripping down, it's mixing with this stuff. Hopefully this... I don't know what we're going to do with this. It's just a second tank that we're going to have to try and find something to do. Perhaps we could pump stuff up. There is a bit of a power issue. Why Why would you go that way, Atherin? Athar, why would you do that? Why would you do that? We definitely have power issues. That's because we've only got one guy up here trying to do his best. Let's also put some decor stuff up here. Blank canvases. Maybe like that. That looks good. Um, Forest, what are you doing? Okay, stress is at 100%. Misaligned and Atherin are the people. But I feel this is something we're going to have to deal with next time, ladies and gentlemen, as we have got ourselves a biodistiller under the way, which is producing us water and cleaning water for us. We've got the water purification unit underway. This all still needs to be done just to make sure it gets up to being our highest standards that we like in our colony. But I think everything is going A-OK. -okay. But I will see you next time where we're going to try and get uh, stress levels under control and maybe we can stop everyone vomiting everywhere but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye <laughs>